Alright, the serious man back with another video. Why well, you guys? You're harassing me, okay? Now I'm sick of it, quite frankly. You guys know I'm a weapons expert, you know. And, um, I keep getting all these messages saying, Mysterious Man, you gotta do a tomahawk review. What's the best tomahawk, Mysterious Man? And, I think, uh, I have some, some insight here for you guys, um, as to my opinion on what the best tomahawk is. Um, now this is the cold steel tomahawk, as you can see. Broke. In fact, it broke the first freaking day that I, uh, bought it. Um, after only about a couple throws, it just freaking cracked right there. And I even tried that freaking, um, I don't know what the thing's called, it's that thing that Billy Mays endorses, it's like that thing that fixes tools, like you put one here, like say there's a crack here, you put one part here, you put the other part here, and it somehow binds it back together, but it turns out not even Billy Mays could save us now. So, friggin' old people, all you friggin' nostalgia fags out there, don't cry, they're on this cold steel, okay, they suck, they're like some kind of Chinese knockoff company, they're not even an American company, okay, um, as for the blade itself, I like that uh, they gave you a nice grip up here to hold on to, so you put one hand down here, and you put one up here, but what does that mean if the axe is gonna break? friggin' instantly, okay? Uh, the axe head itself is okay. I mean, to me this is not a proper tomahawk. It's just like a two, big two-handed axe, okay? Um, now, before we get into the friggin' true quality stuff, alright, we're gonna take a look at this. This is basically the same thing as, this is the M48 Hawk United Cutlery. This is basically the same thing as this, but it's a little bit smaller, so I expect this to break pretty soon, actually. Um, not as quickly as this one did, though. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I buy things just for the purpose of breaking them, because I'm rich anyway, you know what I mean? So it doesn't really matter. But, anyway, um, now, this is the real deal. This one is the most expensive one. It's the smallest one, therefore it's the easiest to swing around with one hand. I mean, you can very easily do this, like it's almost like holding a knife. This is a proper tomahawk. This is the fast hawk, actually. It's not the, uh, it's not the full 18-inch one or whatever. But this is the most convenient one out of all of them. And most importantly, it's the one in Call of Duty. Okay, so that pretty much proves that it's the best. I mean, this one, because this one is in Call of Duty, that means that it's more realistic than the other ones. This, like when I hold this and go like this, like imagine this as a first person game right now. Like that doesn't feel very realistic. But this, as you can see, that's much more realistic. Let's do the ultimate test of whether or not something is realistic, like in the hand. Okay, watch this. Right? Notice, notice the way I'm gripping this, okay? Alright, now watch this. Look at, just notice my hand. It's kind of, it's very similar to the 360 controller. Very similar, uh, ergonomics, okay? But when I grab this, it's kind of like, it's, it's different. It's less realistic, okay? Because this one isn't from a video game. So that means it's less realistic. And this one, this one is just, like I said, this is not a tomahawk. This is a giant freaking axe. Uh, also, as for the, uh, freaking just standard hatchet, which pretty much has become the standard. People feel like it outclassed tomahawks and all that stuff. I really don't like regular hatchets like this compared to this. See, this is much more top-heavy. It's harder to swing around. This is just really nice, light, and easy. It's a lot easier. It's more realistic. It's from Call of Duty. That means it's better. 